I'm Kate Kelly with America Comes Alive, where you'll find great stories simply told. Today's story is about how parking meters came to be. In the early 1930s, cities were seeing more people driving cars, and this was creating traffic problems. But you'll never guess in what city the town administrators felt the most desperate. It wasn't New York, Boston, San Francisco, or Chicago. It was Oklahoma City. Oklahomans who worked downtown arrived early and took the most convenient street parking for themselves, leaving their cars in one spot all day. As a result, shoppers had difficulty finding places to park. Carl McGee was an Oklahoma newspaper man who served on the city's traffic commission. He heard all about the problems with traffic jams and parking problems. He wasn't an inventor, but he had an idea of something that he thought might help solve the problem. He knew it needed to be very easy for consumers to use, as well as weatherproof and vandal resistant. In 1932, he approached the University of Oklahoma Engineering Department for technical help. They soon had a device that worked like a coin-operated clock. Drivers would drop a nickel in a slot, wind a knob, and get one hour of parking. Because McGee was on the traffic commission, he got quick attention from town administrators. He soon had permission to manufacture his meters. On July 16, 1935, 175 meters were installed along 14 blocks of Oklahoma City. What did the public think? Some drivers felt it was a tax on their right to own an automobile. A few filed lawsuits, but others decided to have fun with it. One fellow rode his horse into town, paid a nickel, and tied the horse to the parking meter pole. Four other people arrived with folding chairs and a card table. They proceeded to enjoy a one-hour card game. After the initial irritation, drivers adapted. They discovered that if they were willing to pay a nickel, they could find parking. Storekeepers were happy when they saw that customers could shop more easily. City officials were pleased that fewer cars had to drive around the streets looking for parking, and they also appreciated the revenue. While only a trickle of money came from the parking meter charges, the unpaid parking tickets began to add up. And who received the first parking ticket? Only a month after the meters were installed, a local reverend was ticketed. Reverend C.H. North was not happy and he took his case to court. He said he stopped for only a minute to run into a store and get change. The judge kindly dismissed his case. As a result of the success in Oklahoma, parking meters were soon being used in cities everywhere. By the early 1940s, there were more than 140,000 parking meters across the U.S. We've come a long way from dropping a nickel in the slot for 60 minutes of parking time. Today we can pre-book parking spaces by app and pay through our phones or with credit cards. I wonder what Carl McGee would think of that. I'm Kate Kelly with America Comes Alive. Look around and see what inspires you.